Have you ever looked up at the moon and wondered, why is it white? Do you know what the color of the moon is? It's whitish, grayish. That sounds like a trick question. I'm going to assume gray. White? I guess like gray. <laughs> and do you know why it's that color? Um, I mean, I would say it's made of something that's white or gray. Because <laughs> I've seen it. Uh, no, I have no idea. I have no clue why, you know, why it changes color or what it's made out of. Because of its mineral-like composition? Actually, very good answer. The moon is white because of the rocks that the crust is composed of. Plagioclase is the mineral that makes up most of the crust. We know this because the astronauts brought back moon rocks. What is plagioclase? Plagioclase is a common white mineral found in igneous rocks. This rock has large plagioclase crystals in it. You can see how similar these plagioclase crystals are to the ones from the surface of the moon. You have also probably seen plagioclase without realizing it. In granite countertops, if you look closely at granite, you can see the white plagioclase crystals throughout. Most of the white bodies in the solar system are covered in ice. The moon's whiteness, however, is because of the abundance of plagioclase in the crust. So how is it that the crust of the moon contains so much plagioclase? To find out, we have to look four and a half billion years into the past. Immediately after the moon formed, its entire surface was covered by an ocean. Instead of water, this ocean was made entirely out of magma. What is magma? Magma is molten rock. The moon four and a half billion years ago was covered in a magma ocean. All rocky planets were originally covered in magma oceans, including the Earth. But what does this have to do with why the moon is white? As the magma cooled, minerals like plagioclase formed. The minerals sank or floated in the magma based on their density. The heavier minerals sank to the bottom, while the lighter minerals like plagioclase floated to the surface. The plagioclase grouped together in this top layer to form the crust. This is how the surface of the lunar magma ocean crystallized into plagioclase-rich rock. The end result is the white surface that we see today. So the next time you wonder why the moon is white, just remember that it really isn't quite so mysterious. It's made up of the same minerals that are in your countertop. The moon is white because of the lunar magma ocean cooling as a result, white plagioclase crystallizes and forms the crust.